Hey, what's up? It's Ned. And it's time for another ned That's where I forcibly rape your brain with all my prodigious knowledge. But don't worry. The Republicans say you can't get pregnant that way. So here we go. Did you see Mitt Romney's acceptance speech at the RNC? Well, I watched it, and the first thing I thought was, how old is this motherfucker? So I googled the wiki to this blue-blooded asshole, and I found out that Mitt Romney is 65 years old. 65 years old? He didn't look a day over 45. That guy must have a gasoline tank truck full of Botox blasted into his face every fucking week. Because he didn't have one wrinkle. And his hair was all slicked back in that classic Romney quaff. So perfect, it almost looked like CGI. How much does this millionaire dipshit spend each month at the hair salon? Probably about as much as all us low-class riffraff make in an entire year. And then he's got the nerve to stand up there spewing some hokey tale about, Oh, shucks, look at me, by golly, I'm so down to earth. Like he was Gomer fucking pile. Bullshit, he's a silver spoon frat boy who used his daddy's money to make more money. And then, once he got all that money, he did the very unmormonly thing of putting all his cash offshore. So we would only have to pay 13% taxes on the $21 million he makes every fucking year. And of course, he refuses to show his tax returns, because then we would all see how the rich have all the loopholes and the middle class gets screwed. And then, this is the part of the speech where Mitt Romney did not talk about his Mormonism. Because if he did, everybody would realize it's a crazy made-up fairy tale that makes Scientology believable. And if Mitt Romney believes this shit, he's a fucking lunatic. And then, it was the part of the speech where Mitt Romney did not mention the war in Afghanistan. Because the majority of Americans are against the war. But... All the military contractors who pay Obama and Mitt Romney millions and millions of dollars are all for it. So naturally, Mitt Romney believes we should stay in Afghanistan and let our fine young soldiers continue to be shot in the back by the very filthy sheep herders they're training. Because guess what? They don't want us in their fucking country! And then, Mitt Romney made fun of global warming, which even John McCain admits is real. And the whole crowd went fucking wild. And he got a standing ovation. And all the dried-up old Republican bitches' red, white, and blue panties got all moist. And all the old white Republican guys had secret hard-ons. And they shed a little tear, thinking, One day, I'll be a huge, rich asshole, just like Mitt Romney. And the balloons came down, and the confetti, and the fireworks, and everybody forgot that Clint Eastwood had been Baker-acted only one hour before for talking to an empty chair. And up in Washington, Barack Obama started to peel off the giant red, white, and blue condom that he's been wearing while he rapes the shit out of us. So he could give it to Mitt Romney in mid-stroke, so they don't miss a fucking beat. Looks like we're screwed again, America. Night out!